catch the Berrykins before they cross the lake to the picnic grounds. <laughs> What's a picnic without dessert? It's a very good thing I forgot to pack the dessert for your picnic. What happened to the boat? Whoever used it last didn't tie it up. How can we get it back? Here you go. Have a very good picnic. Somebody forgot their phone, Strawberry. Here. Huh? I know who this belongs to. Once upon a time, there was a princess who lived in a far, far, far away land, and she was. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. oh, excuse me. Here. Let me help you up. Sorry. Yours? No. Mine? Mine. And the prince married the princess, and they live happily ever after. <sighs> there. Finished it. Just in time for Blueberry's Book Club. Oh, here, Plum. Huh? Oh, thanks. I forgot where I left that. In the boat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was it. I've been so busy practicing for my dance recital, I'd forget my hair if it wasn't attached. It, it is attached, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no problem. The boat drifted away, though. Maybe you forgot to tie it up. Mm, no, I tied it up. Maybe you forgot to use two knots? One knot, two knots. Not that it matters. <laughs> well, it mattered to the Berrykins. They had to get the boat back from the middle of the lake. Uh, just saying, you know, two knots is the rule. Whose rule? I do not recall. <laughs> well, Lemons, it's her boat. Well, maybe it's a silly rule. But don't tell her I said so. I do not want to get in trouble. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <sighs> Hi, Plum. What you mailing? <laughs> Invitations to my dance recital. <laughs> Great. H hey, I'm, I'm getting one, aren't I? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Got him! <sighs> <sighs> Thanks, J.D. Bug. Wow! There must be enough letters here for... for... For everyone who lives in Berry Bitty City and every last Berrykin in Berry Grove. Uh-huh. Wow. They all need to go out right away. Could you please stamp them extra special, super urgent, ultra fast delivery? <gasps> I, I get to use my extra special, super urgent, ultra fast delivery stamp? <laughs> They'll be delivered faster than you can say. Extra special, super urgent, ultra fast delivery. Thanks. An invitation to Plum's dance recital! Wow! Oh, wow! 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 What? Is something wrong, Miss Shortcake? The date of Plum's dance recital. She's holding it here at the Cafe Cabaret stage, which is fine. Except that I think the date she invited us for... Is already taken. Oh no! Blueberry signed up for that very date. Wait a minute. Plum didn't sign up at all. Oh, must be some mistake. She knows the rule about signing up. Everybody does. Strawberry. Oh, hello, Mr. Longfeet. Hello, Miss Muffin. Strawberry, did you give Plum my cafe cabaret night? The baby Berrykins are going to be so disappointed. I'm supposed to read their favorite story to them. I did not give her your night. 
Pub must have forgotten to sign up, or, or to check if the date was taken, or... <sighs> it's all right. She'll have to reschedule her dance recital. But, but she already sent all the invitations. Oh, poor Plum. I know. I feel badly, but fair is fair, and you followed the rules, and she didn't. Don't worry. I'll explain it to her. <sighs> well, okay. Thank you, Strawberry. I don't envy you having to tell Plum. I don't envy me either. Somebody's going to be very disappointed. Uh, Plum? Do you have a minute? Sure. Oh, did you get my invitation? Um, yes. That's just it. The day you invited everyone, the cabaret stage is taken already. <laughs> Why? Well, you never signed up for it. But, okay, so I'll sign up now. It's too late. Blueberry reserved it weeks ago to read to the Baby Berrykins. Oh, no. Could she switch it to another date? It's not her. It's the rules for the cafe. It's my rules. Well, can't we just change the rules this time? She could read to the Baby Berrykins any night. That's not the point. She followed the rule, so it wouldn't be fair for her to have to move her night. Oh, but all those invitations! I made them myself, by hand! I'm sorry, Plum. I'll help you redo your invitations if you'd like. No, that's all right. I'll do them myself. Well, I'm really sorry, Plum. I'm here to help if you need me. Did you see Plum's new dance recital invitation? <laughs> I think it's the best joke she's ever played. Oh boy, I haven't checked my mail yet. What does it say? She moved the date of the recital and the place. Now it's in her dance studio, not Strawberry's Cafe. And she says there are new rules for entering the studio. Listen. To gain admission to dance studio, please, one, wear a yellow hat, two, knock three times, and three, guess the secret password. <laughs> oh no, that plum, what a jokester. Um, I don't think she's joking. Of course she is. Isn't she? She's mad about my sign-up sheet rule at the cafe. But that's a rule that makes sense. Wear a hat and knock three times? That's just nonsense. Yoo-hoo! Miss Pudding! The door's locked. <laughs> We're here for our dance lessons. I hear knocking, but not three times. Strawberry was right. She wasn't kidding. I thought maybe she was being silly. She's definitely being silly. Password, please? Betcha it's a ballet dance step. Plie? <laughs> nay, nay. Sorry. It's her favorite pie. Uh, um, is it gooseberry? My favorite pie. But not the password. Hmm. How about ridiculous? <laughs> ridiculous it is. I'll say. Uh-uh-uh. Yellow hats? But we don't have any yellow hats. Then I'm afraid... Are you serious? You're not going to let us in because we're not wearing hats? Yellow hats. Oh, but Miss Pudding, I've been practicing my foxtrot for a week. I almost have all my feet together. <laughs> fair is fair. Rules are rules. Oh, I've never heard of anything so silly. Hmm. Me neither. Oh, but it gives me an idea. Oh, shoot, shoot. Okay, so we're all gonna go. Where's Plum? She's never late for book club. Maybe I'll give her a call. Hi, Plum. It's Strawberry. We're all waiting for you over at Blueberries for book club. Uh-huh. Okay. I understand. She says she needs to practice for the recital. Hmm. She should have had plenty of time to practice today, given that she wouldn't let anyone in for class. I know. I don't know what's gotten into her. Password, please. 
sesame? Sorry. Tickle? Nope. <sighs> well, I'll have to come by another time then. I can't guess. That's it. You got it. Hmm? The password. It's gas. <laughs> Pretty clever, huh? Uh, uh, but you're not wearing a yellow hat. Plum, I think we need to talk. I know you're upset with me, but it seems like you're taking this grudge too far. I don't know what you mean. All these nonsense rules? If you think my rules are nonsense, what about Raspberry's rules? Raspberry has rules? Come in. <laughs> but don't forget, you may only stand on the dots. What? Oh, Strawberry, it's you. You don't have to stand on the dots. May I ask who does? Well, when Plum comes here for her fittings of her dance costume, she has to. Ooh. Fair's fair. If Plum's going to make me obey silly rules for her dance studio, then she's going to have to obey my silly rules, too. <laughs> and besides, I'm not the only one who feels this way. Lemon and Mr. Longface have silly rules for Plum, too. What kind of rules? <laughs> well, uh, Lemon makes Plum wear a green hat to come to the salon, then whistle while she's getting her hair and nails done. Oh, and she has to recite a poem called Ode to a Caterpillar and call Mr. Longface Sir Highness Longface before she can even enter his mini bitty golf course. <laughs> I know, I know. I think Plum's rules are silly, too. Holding a grudge does not do anyone any good. But I think you're making things worse by holding a grudge, too. Besides, rules should be for everybody. It's not fair that you just make Plum follow your rules. Oh, that is a good point, Miss Shortcake. Excellent point. Okay, Strawberry. I understand. Me, too. Oh, I'm glad. More tea? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi, Good morning. Why are you wearing green hats? We gotta. Lemon's new rules. Oh, really? <laughs> Wonderful shot, Sir Highness Longface. <laughs> Ooh, I, I thank you. Oh, too bad. Yes, it's your turn again, Sir Highness Longface. <sighs> That's my ball, Sir Highness Longface. Oh, my mistake, Sir Highness. I, I mean, uh, oh, oh, this doesn't work playing miniature golf against oneself. Oh, uh, hi. Orange, <laughs> are you going to come try on your new shirt? It's ready. I don't think so. It's too hard hopping from dot to dot. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, bye then. Hi, Blueberry. Are you coming for your manicure this week? You haven't rescheduled. Sorry, Lemon. My lips are still sore from whistling at my pedicure. Think I better wait till next week. Okay. Uh, no problem. <sighs> Strawberry? Hi, it's Lemon. I'm having a special on facial scrubs today, and, um, well, what I'm trying to say is you don't have to whistle. Oh, you were right. Our acting like Plum doesn't solve anything. Thanks, Lemon. I'm glad to hear you say so. I'll see you soon. Oh, those smell heavenly. <laughs> Thank you. That was Lemon. She's decided to get rid of her silly new rules. So have I, Miss Shortcake. Too much trouble for everyone. No one comes to play mini bitty golf anymore. Now, if only Plum would get rid of hers. <laughs> oh, Plum, you don't have to stand on the dots. I... I, I don't? 
No, <laughs> I decided it was a silly rule. People got so tired of it that no one wanted to come to the boutique anymore. Here you are. Oh, it's beautiful, Raspberry. Thank you. Uh, you RSVP'd no to my invitation. Oh, uh, well, you see, the only people who are coming are Blueberry and Strawberry. Oh, it's my new rules, isn't it? Hmm, well, to be honest, yes. I've been too busy to make a yellow hat. Well, guess what? For my recital, I'm waving all the rules at my studio. Now will you come? No hats, no knocking, no password. I'm in. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I wanted to let you know that I'm waving all my dance studio rules tonight. So please come to my recital. <laughs> Hi, Orange. Hi, J.D. Bug. Need some help? Almost there. We're going to break this up into bags of nut mix. Aren't they cute? Raspberry made them. She made my dress for my recital tonight. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's um, nice. <laughs> Gee. I wanted to let you know that for one night and one night only, I'm waving my dance studio rules. So I'm hoping you'll both change your minds and come to my show tonight. Okay, I'll be there. <laughs> Me too. Outside. Yay, you were wonderful, Plum. And what a beautiful costume. Oh, thank you. Raspberry did a great job. Ah! What's wrong? My dance floor. Oh, there are little holes in it. It's ruined. Jadybug. Yes, Plum? Stop. Don't move. Your shoes. What is it? I'm afraid your heels made little puncture marks in Plum's dance floor. Oh, goodness. I feel terrible. But everyone knows my rule about footwear in my studio. No heels. It was my first and oldest rule. But you told us you were waving all your studio rules tonight. I... Well, I thought that meant the shoe rule, too. <sighs> I am so very sorry. I just didn't think about why you had that rule. But now I see why it was needed. Oh, Plum, what can I do? I'll help you refinish your floor, Plum. You will? Certainly. Me too, Plum. Thank you, J.D. Bug. Don't feel bad. It's my own fault. I didn't make it clear about the rules. Strawberry, you... You'd help me after I've been acting so foolish and holding a grudge and everything? Of course, Plum. I'd be very glad to help. You were right, Strawberry. Your sign-up rule was a good one, and I should have respected it, even if I didn't understand why it was important at the time. If you don't understand why a rule is important, next time, just ask. I will. Don't forget to use two knots. <laughs> we would not want the boat to get loose. And it is Lemon's rule. And it's a good one. It sure is. It won't drift away again now. Most certainly not. This on me. Love it. <laughs> Did you try that new berry shake at the cafe? Oh, so yeah. Good. Hey, by the way, where is Strawberry? Hi, everybody. Strawberry. Hi, Hi Strawberry. Hi, oh, am I early? Right on time. I'm just running a bit behind. Let's see. Sorry, Blueberry. Can I put you over here? Let me put you over here. Tea. Thank you. And let's get those pinkies soaking. How much time do we have? 
We're running out of time. I wish there was a way to do hair and nails faster. I don't want to be late for the special event. Lemon, you're not just the fastest. You're the best. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, thank you. Just doing my job. And a very excellent job. Thanks to you, we're all gonna look gorgeous for the opening day of Mr. Longface's Croquet Country Club. I've never played a, a croquet. Well, it's kind of like golf, but with wire hoops instead of holes. It's fun. <laughs> <gasps> this could be a new look for us. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, here, let me. Uh, I got it, I got it. Here, look at that. <laughs> okay, hold still. There, got it. <laughs> no, it's great. Looks great. <laughs> Never look better. I love it. <laughs> sure does. <sighs> Perfect. Ooh, thanks. Huh? Oh, I think it's stuck. It isn't stuck. It's locked. Oh, goodness. I made us late and now Mr. Longface has locked us out. I don't think he'd do that to us just for being late. Who? Plum? Raspberry, could you please give me a leg up? Sure thing. Here you go. Oh, no, this won't do at all. A little longer there. That... Oh, that's wrong. Well, he's in there. What's he doing? Um, excuse me, Mr. Logface. Uh, oh. Okay, down, please. Uh, uh, uh. I have to apologize, Mr. Longface. It's my fault we were late to your opening. Oh, the apology is mine, Miss Meringue. Uh, the opening of my croquet country club is, in fact, well, not opening. Not opening? Why? Oh, it has been postponed due, I am ashamed to say, to an unsatisfactorily trimmed lawn. Shameful. Perfectly shameful, isn't it? Looks very nice to me. Yeah, yeah so it's nice. It's really good. Uh, how do you play? This looks like fun. Can I be blue? How do we start? We each take turns hitting our balls through those wires called wickets. But it's not level. Why, if one was to send a ball rolling across something as rough as that, oh, there's, there's no telling where it would end up. Oh, I'm sorry, my friends, but I'm ashamed to say that I won't be ready to open until later. We'd be happy to help you trim the grass. Yeah, I'm pretty good with a pair of scissors. Yeah, yeah we are. Oh, sure. scissors. oh, thank you, everyone. <laughs> but help is on the way. Oh, hello, friend Berrikins. And thank you for coming to my rescue. Hey, no problem. At your service. Let's get to work. Well, Lemon, we weren't late after all. Only because the opening is postponed. Nah. It would have been okay. Yeah, it's okay, Lemon. Hey, how about we all go for a picnic at the pond? Yeah. I love it! Yeah. Yeah. beautiful day! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lemon? Thanks, Strawberry, but I think I have some work to do in my salon. <laughs> but all your customers are going on a picnic. There isn't anyone who needs a makeover. My salon needs a makeover. I want to fix it up so that everything runs a little smoother, so I can do everyone's hair faster. Okay, I'll save a sandwich for you. Thanks, Strawberry. The new 
Salonomatic. Manicures like magic, pedicures perfectly, styles hair faster than you've ever seen before. Your customers will love you. But what kind of surprise? I don't know, Raspberry. Lemon just called and said to bring everyone over for a reopening of her beauty salon. Reopening? What does she mean? Ta-da! Welcome to Lemon's new salon, where you're in and out faster than you can say hi and goodbye. Wow! Uh, what is it? This is the all-new Salonomatic. Manicures like magic, pedicures perfectly, styles hair faster than you've ever seen before. So, who will be first? Well, I guess, uh, sure. I'll give it a try. Okay, just, that's right, sit down here. Uh, what do I do? Not a thing. The salon matic does it all. Huh? <gasps> Welcome to the salon matic In just a few short seconds, a new do for a new you. Exactly the way you do it. Thank you. Oh, this new invention thing is great. Where'd you get it? I just called this number. Who's next? Oh, me! 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 me, me, me. Even the syrup drips are the same. Amazing! They're all identical. All thanks to the Wonder Waffler, the cook's fastest friend. Wow! Where'd you get it? Same place Lemon got her salon matic Guess what I'm doing right now. Oh, oh hi, 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 Mary. What are you doing right now? Um, standing? Mm. Uh, spending quality time with your talented and charming mm. friends? Mm, having a waffle. Thank you. Yes, I'm doing all those things. As well as... I'm cleaning my bookstore. Oh, like, uh, this afternoon? No, right now. <laughs> my new automatic clean o -matic does it while I'm away. Keeps my bookstore nice and shiny. I don't have to do a thing. Which gives me time to catch up on writing all my book reviews. Ooh, when can I borrow it? Anytime. Excuse me, girls. Hello? Hi, Lemon. Oh, we're all over here at Blueberry's watching her new clean o -matic. Hey, does anybody need a, a, you know, trim, a manicure, anything? Trim? A uh, manicure? Uh, hi, Lemon. Uh, no, we're good. Thanks, Lemon. Nope, we're good. Huh? Whoa! Yes! <laughs> okay. Well, then. Uh, bye, I guess. New hairstyle? Manicure? <laughs> oh, no. I just wanted to see how you're enjoying your time off. Well, it's nice, but actually, I feel like there isn't a lot to do here, and I'd like to be useful. Is there anything I could do at the cafe to help you? Of course. <laughs> Guess what I'm doing right now? Uh, drinking a smoothie and... <laughs> Don't tell me. I'm cleaning my store. <laughs> oh, goodness. Can I borrow the clean matic next? <laughs> of course! Well, how are the smoothies? Mmm. Delicious! What do you think? Yum! Mmm! Mm. Alive with fruit flavor. <laughs> Lemon's a natural. I think I like the way you make them better, Strawberry. Well, with practice, I'm sure you'll make them the same way I do, in no 
time. That's really sweet, but I don't want to make you spend time teaching me to do something you can do yourself. I'm not sure cafe work is for me. The Bitty City Bop is all about... Uh, your feet? The beat. Oh, yeah. The... the beat. And step to the left, and forward, and three steps. Oh, I mean to the right. Oops. Ouch. Oh, I meant left. <sighs> you were great, Lemon. Oh, let's take five. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Plum. You're so nice to hire me to teach, but honestly, you do this better than anyone. And we don't really need two dance teachers. Are you sure? I'm sure. Fun, huh? Uh, sure. But I don't think you really need my help. What do you mean? Well, Orange, I mean, how many times can we re-alphabetize these cans? Uh, but... I just want to make a special contribution, like I used to. Doing something that I have fun at. The way I did with hairstyling. Hmm. Well, you've had so many great ideas about how to reorganize my store. I was thinking... Yes? Why not come up with an idea for a fun new business? Start a new business? Oh, I can't do that. Sure you can. <laughs> Step right aboard. There you go. Oh, watch your step, please. All ashore. There you go. Oh, watch your step, please. Goodbye. Delightful trip. Thanks, Lemon. Thank you, Lemon. That was wonderful. We'll be back. Wow, another picnic? Sure. We decided to have picnics across the lake every day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Great, but three days in a row? Well, sure. Why not? You're all doing this just for me, aren't you? Us? We? Uh, oh, we wanted to support your new fairy. It's such a great idea. Uh, such a great service. Oh, thank you, but... Not a very much needed service. Hello, Hello again. Hi. Hi. Now remember, it's not a picnic, it's bird watching today. Got it. Closed for the season? Oh no. But Lemon, we all want you here. We need you here. What's Big Bitty City got that we don't have? Something for me to do where I can have fun and be useful. Oh. Thanks for caring. Don't look so sad. I'll come back and visit. A lot. Promise. Come on. I have an idea. You want us to put honey in our hair? But how's that gonna keep Lemon from leaving? Watch. <laughs> Lemon! You can't leave! Huh? Why not? Look what the salon o did to us. Oh no! Quick, back to the salon! I'm not sure what Strawberry will think of this plan. Wow! Now it won't even do anything! What a bust! Boy, it sure is a good thing we caught you in time! Can you help us? At your service! <laughs> 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 
But are you sure you can't join us? Uh, just for lunch. Everyone misses you very, very much. Oh, thank you, Miss Shortcake, but every hour I'm not preparing the lawn is another hour my grand opening is delayed. Oh, that looks wonderful. Oh, what would we have done without you? Thank you, Lemon. You're our hero. these get here? Uh, um, how did Wicked where? We just wanted you to stay. <gasps> but it's important the lawn is level. Isn't the important thing that we all have fun together and enjoy each other's company? A nice boat ride. Oh, a nice picnic lunch. I'm sure it would mean a lot to Lemon. Oh, well, I... Uh, I didn't think of it that way. I wouldn't want to let Miss Meringue down, uh, but my lawn. Mr. Longface, we want you back. You are so much more important to Berry Bitty City than this lawn. Am I? Of course. Don't you know that? Oh, uh, can you excuse me? There's something I need to tell someone. Hmm. I'm more important to Berry Bitty City than you. <laughs> <sighs> I know, and I appreciate what you're trying to do. Please, girls, I'm gonna miss the bus. Good. What's happening? Strawberry! She's moving! Please stop her, Strawberry! Don't let her leave. Lemon, you're leaving? Oh, Strawberry. I just feel there's no need for me to stay in Berry Bitty City. Not unless I can do something useful, something that everyone needs. I'll tell you what we need. Someone to take care of the complaints about this machine. What complaints? Oh, where do I begin? One, the machine is lousy at conversation. And boy, is it useless at giving advice. Two, it doesn't tell you how nice you look or offer any fashion hints. Three, it won't laugh at any of our jokes. Four, it doesn't fit in a sleeping bag for sleepovers. And it won't even respond when you send it an invitation. How rude. Five, it doesn't have a shoulder to cry on. And six, and this is by far the worst, it never hugs. Yeah, yeah that's, that's great. great. Uh -huh. oh. We love you for who you are as a person and friend, Lemon. And that machine can never be any of those things. I sent back my Wonder Waffler. Too perfect. There just wasn't the individual touch of the cook. Does this mean I have to send back my Cleanomatic? It hasn't cleaned the dance studio yet. We don't have to send the Cleanomatic back. What I'm trying to say is, oh, Lemon, will you please stay with us? Yeah! Ah, Miss Shortcake, you're right. I've been neglecting you all. Miss Meringue, oh, I'm sorry I never visited your ferry. How can I make it up to you? Well, could you help us push the salon matic over to the post office? I'm sending it back. At your service. Oh, no! Sorry, Mr. Longface. Not at all, Miss Meringue. Your machine has trimmed the grass to perfection. Oh, I hereby declare Mr. Longface's croquet club open for business. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Meringue, oh, would it be too much to ask? It's all yours, Mr. Longface. Splendid! Would you do the honor of hitting the first official ball? My pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> 